Imagine sitting in your home and hearing a gunshot rip through the walls. That was the alarming reality for the family that lives here, and it's left them with a lot of questions. The fears as, as far as a, a parent, I mean, anything could have happened. It's the last thing most of us worry about inside our own homes, a bullet flying through the walls and landing on the kitchen floor. But it happened to Sandy Stanley. We're both lucky that it, the bullet didn't hit either one of us. Stanley and her son Hayden Phelps were sitting in the living room when they heard it. And all of a sudden there's just this loud noise out of nowhere. And then I hear a bunch of clinging noises in the kitchen because that's where the bullet had landed, so it was bouncing off of a bunch of things. They found the bullet lying on the kitchen floor. I was like, that's a bullet, and then it's warm, obviously, so I knew it had been shot recently. The family didn't know where the bullet entered through the walls, and even a visit with the sheriff couldn't solve that. I even asked the sheriff, I said, have you ever seen something like this before? And he said, this is the strangest thing that I have seen today. But it isn't the first time something like this has happened. The house has gotten shot over by our kitchen window a few times, which is kind of scary because we have kiddos. Courtney Winter says her dad's home right down the road has been shot multiple times in the past five years. Fortunately for all, the intent doesn't appear to be malicious. People who live in the area, they don't realize that there's houses over the hill, um, so they take their shot, not really seeing there's a house right there. Stanley isn't asking people to stop hunting in the area, but rather to be a little more cautious, knowing this close call could have ended much differently. I really just think that it's important for people to be aware what's behind you, what your backdrop is, all of your surroundings, because this could have turned out way worse than, than what it did. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.